no, I'm not going to be playing through this. I, I have a grumble. Well, I have more than one, but some of them are mod related. Um, this one is, uh, the game itself has a poorly implemented thing that it keeps nagging me about. These. <sighs> I have had these fuck up repeatedly in ways that it shouldn't. That's what I mean by poorly implemented. Um, one, eh, I don't, I don't want these traits. So, first issue is, you can make one. Yeah, you say that. But if the best person I've got is barely double digits, say, can I really? Um, because I don't want to be stuck with a person that I will have to force to even be a knight once I have more competent crew available, and then whoever their second may end up being, and this is where this really keeps standing out, is that say I make one, one, it doesn't show me what seconds or I have saved so I can... It doesn't show me who the seconds would be until I've already spent to make it and then maybe wasted my time because I have one really shitty person that is unsuited to the task of being sent out and I would have to force to be a knight for them to second, but I would have to throw them out of my court entirely for the game to stop saying, oh, but you have a candidate available, but you can't select them, and we won't let you search for a qualified one because you have someone technically sort of available. No, badly implemented. It should show me... Who, if anyone? Would be qualified to second, if I have anyone available, um, before I have to pay for it. And it shouldn't show me a grayed out, you can't pick this person because they're not a knight, because they're unqualified to the task. But we won't let you um, search for one, um, since I'm going to be loading anyway, I can actually do this. Oh look, I happen to have one! Convenient! Great! That wasn't necessarily going to be the case. And she won't get ditched right away. Um, but... Please ignore the names. Um, I have named them loot things to amuse myself. Um, let's see if we get that lucky again. Um, do you? Those are less terrible. Go with that. Oh look, I got lucky. I have another one available who can do at least the first one. Um, but if it didn't work out, if there wasn't one or there was someone stuck there um, that I didn't want to have to throw out of my court entirely because maybe they're on the council and they're good at their job, but they have a, not, they're not, they don't have prowess. Um, but then I have to pay 
to retire it so I can replace it. And if I want to actually just be rid of it, it doesn't cost me more there. But I had to pay just to see if someone was available. And then I have to pay more to close it down so I can open one up that might actually be viable. But I don't particularly want any of the either of those ones. But... Let's see. You have useful traits. Um, I don't make those. I don't like scoundrel. Um, I do use you. Um, and extra regiments when I can have fewer groups because I'm a tiny island. I have a castle and a temple and that's it. Um, so this would actually be useful. And I get to pay to find out. Oh look, I got lucky and you're gonna get replaced by somebody better. But hopefully one of them will have that. Otherwise, if and when she does get bumped off the bottom of the list, then I'm stuck again. Right now, I am lucky. I'm still going to load so I'm not spending my prestige when I don't need to be. Um, but yeah, I am lucky at the moment, but the way this is implemented is still obnoxious. Now, I have debug mode enabled, so I can give myself that runout back. Of course, it counts it as I have accumulated more than I actually have, and that's one of the things I'm trying to avoid cheating. So, but yeah, th this has been a thing that keeps frustrating me. I have been testing mods, um, one, to see if they work, to, to see how they work, to see if they work, to see if they work in a way that I actually like, or maybe it's disengaging. I like the idea of it, but the way it's written is really disengaging. Or, oh, you had a soft requirement that I don't actually have access to, and you didn't bother to disclose it. So, some of the interface for this is infuriatingly difficult in a way that it shouldn't be, and you didn't bother to warn us about that. Um, so, because some of them alter how the character is created, like, physically shaped, and removing it will alter them in possibly weird ways that I don't want to look at or deal with, um, I end up having to keep restarting. Um, but I do keep expanding enough to deal with this and have better people show up and, oh, look, my successors keep getting bumped off the bottom, and I don't want to have to force someone who is substandard into the army. And I don't want to have to kick them out because they may be serving another role. So I end up stuck because it's badly implemented. And I, I just wanted to grumble about that and... Other people play this game. I don't know if they've had the extreme frustrations with it that I have, and I haven't even gotten that far. Like, um, I was starting here, but I hate having to deal with vassals. Um, and I have time to have... 
more chilled and more grown before I am overburdened with um, responsibilities that I want to delegate to genetically obligated vassals. So, starting as the Maldives, I have made myself um, custom religion and a custom culture. Um, I figured out, well, looking at how other mods did it helped me sort out most of it, and then I had a uh, online friend in someone else's stream um, give me the helpful pointer of, oh, yeah, you need the language files, that's why everything but the words are working the way you want them to. So I looked up the how do I actually localize these by either digging through the files themselves or looking how the mod how other mods did it. Looking at how other mods are structured. Thank you for being plain text. Um, CK3 mods and CK3 code generally. Um, that's been really helpful. If you weren't plain text, I wouldn't be able to edit you. See also RimWorld save files. Um, but so yeah, I've been fussing with that. I came up with a um, very liberal is the polite way to put it, uh, culture and religion that incorporate some things from some of the not suitable for uploading to YouTube mods. Um, actually, it's easy enough to remove the one that actually adds fully naked bodies instead of the well, base game has boobs and a leaf over genitals. Um, so it's easy enough to remove that. But it adds some inappropriate text that I don't want to leave on the screen. But since I haven't encountered all of it, I would have to read it to assess what I think of what the mod's doing. So I definitely, no, I, I don't work. There's too much to have to edit out or try and deliberately avoid to safely record games that I have modded in that sort of way. So. But th this this is a base game thing. The, these fucking accolades. And the, no, that there's got to be a better way for them to have done that because the way it the way it's structured doesn't really work it deliberately sabotages itself and i hate it i kind of hate it spiteful thing oh yeah um she just popped out her first kid. That's what the save was. Um, but yeah, that's that's 